Hello guys, in this video we will talk about Laravel API documentation and how to generate it. So imagine this API you have, this is Routes API in Laravel, and you need to somehow tell the front-ender how to use that. What are the URLs, what are the parameters, what are potential values to be returned, exception codes, and stuff like that. So API documentation is a must these days. And this is an example of a demo project we released just recently this week about login and register via API. And while creating that, I asked a colleague Marius to generate the documentation for the API with a well-known package. That's the one, Laravel API Doc Generator by Marcel Posiot, really famous figure in Laravel community, popular package, and I've used it myself multiple times, and I even have a video about that showing in the demo. Apparently, if we scroll down, the package is abandoned. I've tried to Google any articles or any tweets about that abandonment, what happened and why. I didn't find any official information. But good news is that abandoned is in favor of a new package called Scribe. So again, I came back to Marius. Can you try that? Can you generate that? And let me see how it works. If we click on Scribe, this is a new package and it has really good documentation actually. And as it turns out, it is almost a clone or a fork of the API doc generator by Marcel. So if you use the old package, the migration to new one is almost no brainer. But new package has a bit more functionality, a bit more customization, fresh design appearance, and it actually is all listed in what's new in Scribe. So in addition to improved appearance, it also can read your authentication information, supports form request and a lot of other stuff. So I advise you at least try it out and migrate from the old package if you use that. If you haven't used that and if you are new to generating Laravel documentation, here's a demo for you. This is the result of what was generated. So this is an HTML page which is generated in public slash docs and you can click around and see the list of all the endpoints. API login with example request, with example response for validation error, or for example response for 200 for success. Then on the left you can navigate to a certain endpoint, like register, like verify, like showing the user. Also you can search, like login, and you can click and land on the actual endpoint. So this is the result, how it works under the hood. Here is the commit by Marius of implementing that package. So after that package is installed, so Composer require, then all you need to do is, well, a few things like preparation, git ignoring the docs, then auth key, you may or may not use that. But what you need to do to generate that is add comments, doc blocks to your controllers, to controller methods. And there is a certain syntax which you can find in the official documentation. It's really detailed and really well written. But with some commands like group, like response, like authenticated, you can specify all you need for the API endpoint. So response, response. Also, you can provide parameters like body param. And with every method, you can add more stuff. And you can group the API endpoints with auth, like group name and something and then it becomes a group in auth endpoints, so this one. If we go back here, you can specify more parameters. So this is an example response, which you can generate somewhere outside of that. Controller with artisan tinker or something like that, and then paste here. And then when you are finished with all the controller documentation, with all that, you run the command php artisan scribe generate and it scans all the routes with all the information and creates two folders. Let's go back to the code. Resources docs in markdown. So index.md is created. And then other MD files with all the information, but that is not readable. The actual result is public docs. It contains index HTML with all that stuff that I've shown before. So the actual HTML, which is accessible in slash docs URL. So if you go slash docs, you land on that index HTML. Also, there is a postman collection. So there is a file collection.json, which you can use in your postman. And then it depends on you how deep you want to generate that, to document that, to configure that. You can do it really quickly with just listing the API endpoints, or you can spend more time documenting all the possible responses, all the possible outcomes and requests. So again, the package is called Scribe by Knuckles WTF. Again, I tried to Google who that is, no information officially. 
but it works really well, the package itself. So I totally recommend you at least to try that. Or another alternative for API documentation is OpenAPI standard, formerly known as Swagger. So I have written and published a separate article about that on our Quick Admin Panel blog. So I will link in the description below if you want to read about that or try that other package. But whatever package you use, I advise you to actually document your APIs. So anyone who consumes that API would be happy. That's it for this time. Subscribe to this YouTube channel to get more videos. Or if you don't like YouTube subscriptions, you can subscribe to my email newsletter, which I send every Thursday with not only all the links from my YouTube for that week, but also with around 20 or so articles from Laravel community, which I read on Twitter, on Reddit or elsewhere throughout that week. So all the news about Laravel world will be also in that newsletter every Thursday. Subscribe and see you guys in other videos.